Hi, I'm Molly Bassett-Smith from Yukon Extension Expanded Food and Nutrition Program. And today I'm gonna to introduce Megan Driscoll. She's right here and she's gonna show us how to make some beet hummus. Megan, the floor is yours. Thank you so much for that intro, Molly. My name is Megan Driscoll. I am an intern through New Vans Health. I am working with Yukon Extension and getting to learn from some wonderful dietitians here. Today, I'm really excited to be making and sharing with you beet hummus. Hummus is really high in plant protein, iron, vitamins and minerals, and fiber. So for this recipe, what you wanna do is take garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, drain them and mash them, but save your liquid from the chickpeas. We might need it later. For this hummus recipe, if you don't have chickpeas or would like to use black beans, either half and half or completely all black beans, it would be a great swap that would work for this recipe. So our mashed chickpeas are going to go into our blender. Our next ingredient is going to be a half a cup of low fat plain yogurt. We're going to next put in two minced cloves of garlic. Our spices will be coming next. We have one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of salt. And lastly, the beets. Beets are in season in summer, fall, and winter. Beets are very high in iron, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals, and fiber. They're gonna add a wonderful color and flavor to this. If you didn't have beets or wanted to use something different, you could use carrots instead, or you could omit them and just use the chickpeas or black beans, depending on what you put in the recipe. Our next step is that we want to blend this until smooth. I think I want to add a little liquid. That's why we kept that liquid from the garbanzo or the chickpea beans. mixture we have here. So for this recipe, you can take your hummus and you can chill it for an hour or overnight. And like I said, you can eat it with chips, crackers, or a variety of vegetables. We're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and chili powder on top. And this would be a snack. I hope you all enjoy.